All right, guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to play Teemo top lane with the new buffs in the new patch. So what you want to run right now is press the attack. You want to take Triumph, Alacrity, Cut the Grass, Overgrowth, and you want to take Bone Plate. So in case you guys are a little bit unaware of what has been happening with Teemo, um, Teemo has been incredibly strong since like the, the well, like, more like half the season, right? Teemo has been pretty popular, especially in like high elo. Teemo has been popping off like crazy. And today, Riot, uh, I don't know what happened at the at the headquarters, but they decided to buff Teemo and not just give it a tiny buff, but they decided to give the Q of Teemo a missile speed buff. They decided to lower the cooldown, giving it a buff again. And then this, they decided to give it a longer duration as well, which is uh, a joke, honestly. So yeah, um, the way how you want to play Teemo right now is uh, you want to focus on stacking waves and then pushing it into the tower so that you can poke down your opponent, right? One of the best ways to win lane right now. Rather than playing it super safe on Teemo and only going for the pokes that you can, you just always want to stack waves and then use that to win the lane. It's a pretty uh, pretty easy way. The bigger your wave, the more damage you can do. And the more safe you are. Even in terms of jungle kings. So you see like how fast the, uh, the Teemo Q speed is right now. <laughs> it's like undodgeable for most champions. You know, even for Riven, she would have to perfectionize her shield uh, in order to block my Q now. We also have Nocturne topside taking a camp, so that's pretty great. Nice. Hey, some three kick coming with a reset. Hey, good to see you back, some three kick. Thank you for the prime, some three kick. You're amazing, man. Good to see you return, by the way. Good to see you back, man. It's, it's been a, bit, a little while. So you see, like, this Riffin is already, uh, like, struggling to even play at the lane. We already have, like, a lot of uh, farm advantage against this Riffin right now. And each time that she goes for her CS, it go it it basically becomes even worse. Um, the only difference though is that we uh we do have. She does have the TP advantage. We have the ignite, so that's a tiny little bit of an issue. Also, there's a fair chance that Lee Sin might eventually come topside. I have that deep in my mind. I kind of want to take the 1v2 risk, because Riven is actually really low right now, so... You know what would be perfect in this situation? If we actually had a... A tiny little gank from, uh... Or at least having Nocturne by my side, basically. That would be absolutely excellent. Hey, Seven at Lee coming with a donation of 5. <laughs> You're back once again. <laughs> Seven deadly. I got you. Thank you very much, Riven. You see, like, she has no chance. Hey, Seven deadly, once again, coming with a dono of five. Hey, Seven deadly, once again, thank you so much. And also for everything you've done in the past, man. I just can't seem to forget what you've done. I think about it every single day. <laughs> it's just insane what you've done. Let's go for Berserker's Greaves, so we're going to go for uh, two daggers. Um, so the idea of Teemo right now, in case you're kind of unaware of the build of Teemo, um, usually what the meta was for Teemo, it was always around going for Nash's Tooth and then eventually going for, Ly uh, not for Lyanches, but for Rhythmaker. The thing is, like, what you do now on Teemo is Nash's Tooth and then you go into Lyanches, all right? Lyantris on, on Teemo is incredibly powerful at the moment. And I highly encourage you guys, especially now into Teemo buffs, to go for Lyantris now as a second item. It's pretty much core. It's 
We're going to start pushing waves now, but we got to keep in mind we have to stack the waves um, rather than just hard pushing it. And we also got to keep in mind there could be a lease in here. So we don't want to take too many risks. There could be a, a Lee right here now. Place a ward, I mean a shroom down here. We're just going to take it easy. This Riffin might be looking into all enemy though. So I got that deep in my mind. I'm just going to ping my Jonah right now. To, uh, oh wow. I was, I was, I was going to say like I was going to ping my Jonah right now. To get the pressure out. But I could kind of feel on Riffin that Lee Sin was here. Based on like how she was moving around. And we got in the perfect spot again. A uh, seven that Lee coming with another donation of five. <laughs> That's absolutely pog, man. Seven that Lee. Thank you again for the five. For another five. You're actually getting a gank from Nocturne. Although I think it's not going to work that well. I think they might have seen it. He's not going to kill me. He's not going to do that. Okay, back to what we're doing. Stacking waves and then using the entire wave to... Um... Well, I yeah, he's actually dead. I like the idea of what, of what Nocturne was trying to do, but it would, it would never work that well. Because we already had a push against him. I love how Lee Sin is like camping my lane right now because he knows that this guy is like having the worst time <laughs> ever. <laughs> He's getting deleted by Rai so hard here. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Wait, hold on a second. I think that Riven is probably going to TP. Probably. Got it. Okay, stick a plate. Okay, so this time we're going to go for the Recurve Bow. And then afterwards, um, we go for this. We take another Contra Ward and we're going to take a Potion right now. So, uh, so that we can get ourselves ready. Like one of the best advice I can give guys. I'm just going to throw this out there real quick. Um, when playing Teemo Top. Or any kind of champion in general, you always want to go for a potion, even when you are around like nine minutes in the game. Because if you go for a fight, this potion is the difference. 150 health is actually huge in the early game. I want you guys to be aware of this. Like, this is actually huge. Once again, we're just going to go back to pushing like we did previously, but this time we're going to take it a little bit more easy. I always put shrooms around where I'm standing because when she decides to go for an all-in, she will have to pull through all of them as I kite backwards. And we push this out again. Lee Sin is currently chilling in bot lane, so... Alright, once again we have another push. And we're just gonna chill here again. This guy can't do anything against me. Like, the moment she tries to all in me... Uh... Oh, wow, she tries again. She tries to hit the third on me, but you can tell already if she trusts all in me. Uh, I'm going to use my passive. You see like how Riven is struggling? Because like the moment that she um the moment that she tries to all in me, I drop my Q down with the Q buff that I have, she stands like no chance against me because 
Riffin does like a combo, but if she, if if everything gets cancelled by my Q, it's not gonna help him anything at all. Oh, nice. I'll push this out. Oh, I put a point into my, into my W, but I actually didn't want to do that. Let's go back. So this time we're going to go for Nash's Tooth. And then after Nash's Tooth, we're going to go for Lyandry's. Uh, let's go for this one. And yeah, that's it. So Lyandry's right now. <laughs> You guys and the donations of like 5 euros, you know? <laughs> A guy donating with the name 5. <laughs> That's a uh, super secret donation, I guess. I have like no idea who you are. Secretly donating me five. I don't even know, like, the name. All you put is five into it. Now you leave me very curious. I don't know who you are, but thank you for donating five, man. I got you. Hey, just pointing out there, I don't know who you are, but... Come on, wait. I, I was trying to finish my sentence. Let's go for this right now. Sucks that we've been uh, blocked in every way. From left and right, we were getting chased down by by uh, both Riven and Lee. Let's go for this now. So, yeah, just to finish my sentence, wait. <laughs> hey, I don't know who you are, but thank you for donating 5 euros, man. I don't know if you made a mistake by not placing your name down there, but thank you, man. I think you forgot to place your name down, so... All right, we're going to get back to lane. What we're going to do now is push down this lane and we're going to drag it down into the tower. And after we push this in, our objective is going to be to get this camp and then being able to get this camp. And consistently do this on repeat until we grow bigger and bigger. Like the... Um, one of the best advice I can possibly give for anyone that wants to play Teemo uh, and play it perfectly is constantly just pushing and taking camps. It's one of the best things you can do to push your lead. Like, you don't need to focus on team fighting as Teemo, you just want to focus on getting the camps. Alright. Once again, Riffin unable to play at the laning phase. Yeah, nice try. Nice try. I bet you for a fact, Lee Sin's gonna be here soon. At some point. I can feel it in my bones, man. I think that's just gonna walk through my shrooms at some point. She will have to try to risk uh, going through this place here. <laughs> oh, my shroom goes down. I, I didn't want that to happen. Uh, let's take this one. I'm going to use my passive. Oh. Oh, she didn't walk through my shroom. That's going to be pretty bad for me. I'm going to die here. Oh. <laughs> she was so incredibly smart to try and flash on me with like going like full lethality ribbon. It actually turns out pretty well, not going to lie. But she had an issue, and that is that she has no cooldown. Like, she has no Warhammer. She doesn't have anything that gives her abilities back. So all she could do is just place an auto in, and that was it, you know? And so she was trying to auto me here, but the thing is, like, Teemo's Q has been buffed. It's a longer duration now. So she couldn't actually auto me, and I still win. <laughs> Yeah, that's where the Tebow buffs come in, man. Amazing. Donation, donation coming from 7 Lee. Another 5. Wow. 
Seven Ali. Bro, you've already been donating so much right now. Uh, wait, let me quickly read the message. Uh, bro, you didn't mean to put your name as five, but you won't even read this message because you didn't read the last three. <laughs> oh, I read the messages, man. I read the messages. Don't you worry. So you were also the guy donating with the name under five. <laughs> You've already donated like 20, man. Thank you again, Seven Deadly, for what you're doing. Uh, let's place a war down over here just in case that Lee Sin's gonna jump over. Oh, I got my Q out, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with this guy. So I'm using my passive to get more uh, attack speed out of it. So that the moment she... Um... Okay. Wow, no, that's sad. Ah, that's sad. All my shrooms are gone. He's cleaning all of it up. I put I put my soul into like getting those shrooms out on the right places, and then he... Uh... I think that they're probably still here, though. I think they're probably waiting inside the bush right now. Nice. I finally got it. I think that Riffin's gonna walk through it, though. Oh, so apparently there's an... Oh, wow. He's doing it again. How many Contra Wars does this guy have? Wait, what? 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 Wow. <laughs> so, uh, how many people do you need here? Well, I'm... Okay, I'm pretty low right now. Well, that sucks. This, uh, Zareth is, like, living top side. It's okay, though. We can just reset come back, like, full health. I'm gonna get my lay entries now. And that leaves us with only one option here. What we're going to do. Now that we have lay entries, we have the mana, which is basically the best part about uh, getting lay entries. If you get lay entries, you can basically sit in lane, you can put the shrooms down everywhere. And with that, you can constantly push and take everything for yourself, right? You also have the damage on the lay entries, which is fits perfectly with uh with the shrooms and we're also going to get the blue buff right here if this guy appreciates it so we're going to go back top lane now and we should be able to win against riven now no issue anymore she's going for lethality riven i like how this riven is going for eclipse and not going for prodder's claw even though uh both items in my opinion are kind of blah on the champ right now like, people are kind of panicking. People, uh, ever since, like, Gorchinger has been nerfed, people are super panicking and they don't know what to build anymore. And now you see everywhere, everyone, like, going, like, Eclipse Riven. You see them go, like, Prowler's Claw Riven. Like, super random. Right? I, I honestly, I don't encourage anyone to go for Eclipse because the item itself, even though, um, you can all in with it, it's, it's kind of bad. It doesn't help you. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Let's push this out once again. Pretty much all we're doing this game is constantly uh, pushing things out. And constantly getting the camp on repeat. So... <laughs> No way! <laughs> oh, here we are. Here we are, just like casually playing a playing a Teemo game, you know, with the with the buffs and stuff, you know, casually uh, making a little bit of a YouTube video here, and 
you know, checking out the, the Teemo buffs and seeing like how strong he is and basically making a guide for Teemo. And pretty much like the whole game straight, Seven at least is straight up donating the whole time through. And now even coming with a donation of like 100. <laughs> I'm not prepared for this, man. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. Wow. 100 euros. Hey, thank you again. Seven at least. I don't know what to say, man. I have no words for this. I'm not prepared for this right now. <laughs> That's absolutely pog, man. Thank you again. I got him. <laughs> All right. I'm absolutely not prepared for this. That's unbelievable, man. Uh, let's go for... Wow, well, I'm having serious brain lags right now. Okay, let's go for Zonius. Oh man, 100 euros donation. <laughs> that's an entire history, just so you know, guys. That's a, that's a big history, too. Thank you again, Stephanie Lee, for what you've done. Thank you again, man. All right, let's see if we can potentially finish this game right here. We're gonna we're gonna go mid lane straight up. We're gonna sh shroom down the entire place into every direction, and then we're gonna force the tower right away. There we go. We're gonna put it in every direction so that the moment they try to pass through, they're gonna have to walk through it. You're not gonna try, are you? Just queuing for sh for the show here. Yeah, that's right. Yes, I'm not gonna use my shroom because we're gonna put it onto uh right next to the wall. This one here. I'm gonna use my passive so we can get the attack speed. Nice. That's my passive again. Oh, whoops. I cancelled my passive. Look at all the shrooms here. I'm going to use my passive again. I don't think they know that I'm standing here. I doubt it. I got gotcha. you. Oh man, the Teemo Q is honestly so overpowered. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. The Teemo, the Teemo Q buff is just ridiculous in my opinion. Oh, okay. So apparently they 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 dissed out everything they had on me. Okay, I'm sure. Whatever. I'm gonna go for Sonya's then. Um, wait. So next item right now is going to be Rabidance. And after we get Rabidance, we're going for Void Staff. Except, what we're going to do now is go for this. Because we we don't, like, I don't want to walk back to lane without buying anything. We, I, I might as well try to buy something now. I think probably the next time we walk back to mid lane, I think we can probably push into their base and probably finish beforehand. So I'm, I'm just going. I'm not going to save up now. Here we go. We're going to walk straight mid lane. And we're going to shroom down the entire place. And Maybe I can even throw them straight in their face. That's what I'm actually thinking about. Got him. Let's push this out all the way. I think we can literally just throw down shrooms into their face and it will probably work pretty well.
Good luck against mushrooms. I love how Lee Sin is walking over there. Yep, nice try. Oh, apparently there's a this guy coming right on my back. Okay, that's pretty impressive. So I was, pla I was placing the shrooms down um, at least over here and here and also here and here because if I do so, the the wave that walks into here is not gonna um, it's not gonna get cancelled. You know, my, my shroom will remain there, and if they try to walk from here, they would still walk through. You know. But I'm really kind of impressed how we actually didn't win that team fight. But it's uh, it's just because we weren't grouping. I think all it takes this game is simple. I think all we have to do is simply group up mid lane, force everything together, and then we just go Drake and we go Baron after. I'll sell this one. It's that's a uh, pretty interesting actually. Uh Lucian actually has so many kills in the game, but the Saya is actually higher level than Lucian. And a pretty massive like three level difference in support. What? I don't know what happened right there actually, but they should be ahead. There's no people here. I need the team to go Baron. That would be awesome. What? Super random. That's uh... <laughs> this era does so much damage, man. Got him. Stole my Q. He's gonna hit it. gonna try to run. I uh, I got him. Yep, that's right. <laughs> he tries to TP away. Pretty smart from him. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's push out another wave. Gotta be careful about Riffin though. There should be another camp here. No, there's no Riffin, sure. I'm using my shoes just to see if she's in there. Awesome. There's a Lee over here. He doesn't get any camps. We have to get Baron, man. We have been uh, mi missing opportunities to get Baron here. Yeah, let's do it. Rice is in bot lane. So he can use his ultimate. They're not going to be able to see this. <clears throat> nice. Now you reset. And we got my voice staff. All we need right now is Rabidence. Oh, well, I'm going to take that one for myself. Actually, we have a, uh, we, we've got a rise, but he's currently chilling in the base. Oh. Literally, all we need right now is having my team push mid lane again. Seriously, that's all it takes. Nice. Now we go mid lane. I, I just need everyone to go mid lane. Seriously. Start here. Sure. He's going to try to Q. I actually want to see if I can maybe... uh Maybe get my passive in in the center of mid lane. Okay. 
Here we go. Here comes the moment. They will probably walk up. Chance are very likely. We have Rice coming too, so. Got him. My Q does way too much damage. Got him. Sure. Protein hip. Nice try. Oh, that actually fell pretty hard. Oh, he's not landing the Q though. I do have something that... Uh, I get something that Sarah doesn't like, and that's the fact that I got Sonya's. It's only these two alive currently, so maybe we can force another to tower down. Oh, well that hurts. Yeah, we're gonna have to respect them. We're gonna go Drake right now. I like how he tries, but yeah, that's yeah. This, uh, this drag needs to go down, man. The the problem now, as you can now probably already tell. Drake here. We're having some issues. Some uh, pretty good issues. Yeah, Drake goes down. They have four Drakes right now. Riven stole it. She just rushed it. I uh, I wanted to try and attempt to steal it myself, but I uh, I kind of messed it up. What? Oh, I have Zonias. I wanted to flash away and maybe use my Zonias to outplay, but his third auto did more damage. He actually killed me with like 500 damage on the last auto, like between like 400 or 500 damage. This game is definitely harder than what it should be. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, seriously, like we totally crushed the laning phase. But we lost every single dragon. Every single one of them. They have like mountain and they have three drakes and they have the effect. But they're doing too much damage, man. Like, simply, all it took this game was having the team pushing mid lane, and then we just take Drake, we take objectives, we take top bot lane. But it's, it's all been delayed up to this point. We need like 20 gold, and then we have this Rabidence. Wait, I'll just wait for it. Hey, player, coming with a resub of two months. Hey, thank you for the resub. Also, two months. Awesome, man. Good to see you coming back. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. We got a Porsche mid lane now. Oh, they're coming from there. One simple trap is enough. And we just need the team to group up again. Hmm. Okay, Nocturne's coming over. We can make something work. There, these guys are also grouping up. So all we have to do is just throw shrooms into their team. Ooh, the Sarah does like so much damage. Okay, we're just waiting. We just have to be patient. Oh, he's going directly in? That's not what we were... Oh, that's not what we were planning. Oh, man. All, all, my, all my team had to do... I was going to type it, too. All my team had to do was just fall back. Just wait. Let them walk into my passive. And that was enough. That's really all I wanted to do. There was no... There was no reason to, to go, like... Into a five man with the Nocturne Ultimate. Oh, that's so bad. That's so sad. 
Just gotta get them into my passive. Just let them walk in. That's enough. Alright, we gotta go mid lane again. Oh, well, people are getting caught right now. Well, that's gonna be really, really bad for us. I'm kind of hoping they're gonna walk through the bush. I think I'm gonna flash over. Oh, I got him. Let's try. All we have to do is having one guy defending the defending bot lane and we maybe see if we can end. Or well, never mind. I'll take your risk here. Yeah, let's try. I'm, we're just gonna R push. Yeah, Sarah's in, the, in their back. If he walks through the shrooms, he's gonna die. Um, Let him walk, let him walk to you. Bait them towards me. Good. Well, ah, okay, that didn't turn out that well either. The bait failed pretty hard. It really, it really sucks to be in this position. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. The four dragons is really messing up the game. They have too much damage, but they they don't deserve to have so much damage after what we had after what we had early game. Okay. If they get that Drake, it's gonna be even worse. I can defend this by myself within like 15 seconds from now. Yeah, that's gonna crash into the tower. I can take care of that. Oh, they're gonna get caught by this now. I'll get this. We can maximize the damage even more. What I could do is maybe go for uh for demonic. Yes, sir. Have a nice push. I'll push another wave. Fortunately, we're losing another dragon now. The, that, seriously, this game is being dragged out for so long, man. It's paying back now. This is the reason why I wanted the team to originally push mid lane and group up. For this reason. This is why I didn't want the game to be delayed. Because I knew this would happen. Okay, let's reset. This time we're gonna go for for this. Go for another potion. Actually, I'm gonna go for uh we're gonna go for demonic. And we'll take a potion. So now we're fully stacked. We are absolutely strong right now. If we don't if we don't win a team fight now, then there's nothing we could change more. Use this is shroom push as well. There we go. Okay, here comes the moment. We have like four shrooms ready. Hmm. They're gonna have to walk through it. He's not throwing them to me though. I 
Let's see yours top side. Oh, he's gonna clean up all my stuff. Yeah, oh my dad get caught now. Wow. Oh, okay, yeah, this game is over. What a sad game to be honest. Wow, what a what a sad game. I uh, this is what exactly what I've been trying to prevent. Well, that's the game. Sucks that we had to pull through this one for so long. I knew it was going to happen. Yep. Either way, guys, this is Teemo top lane. Super unfortunate game. You can already tell. But uh, we totally crushed it in this game. It just sucks that... No one felt like ending the game, to be honest. But uh, it is what it is. Either way, I will see you in the next video. Peace.